What's up, what's up? It's DIY the Grappler, you know what I'm saying? I'm back again for another video here. I'm back, I'm back. Um, this one's going to be a little bit like more informative on some research that I did, even though I did some past research on this about how to make, you know, dry pour strong. So back to this water curing, it keeps on kind of circling around back to the water curing for this strength in this, uh, you know, to get to this, it, it's, it's close to its full capacity, you know? Is that, um, you know, we think about strength, we're looking at like rebar, mesh wire. Another huge thing is going to be, you know, water or curing in general, because there's going to be, a, uh, you know, a bunch of different methods when it comes to this water curing. Uh, you know, yeah, you know, we'll, we'll get into that in a little bit. But, you know, the question is like about this strength and about how does how does it get strong? That's the question right here. I would pause this one. You know, there's something in here, you know, that talks about, um that talks about uh, these crystals that come out uh, through the hydration process over time, over curing time, that wrap around the aggregates, whether it's fine, whether it's, um, you know, whatever, whether it's the fine aggregate, which is sand, whether it's the bigger aggregates, which is the rocks. And this is happening during the cement uh, portion of this. So this, this, you know, it's very important, this water curing, for, from my perspective, for my slabs, it's going to be important to me, you know, to, to, you know, like I said, I'm just talking about my experiences here. Um, for me, I'm going to continue to, to the, you know, do this water curing, you know, and, and, you know, when is the right time? It's going to be, you know, for wet pours, right when they're done, right? Right when that final set is done, that's when it starts. So I'm thinking for my dry pour, it's going to be that when that first drop of water hits, you know, because if not, you know, a lot of times, well, not even a lot of times what it's saying is that it'll be, it'll lose 50% of its strength if, if it's not cured properly. So now we're going to, you know, move on to these uh, different methods of curing. There's a, there's a bunch of different methods. I'm looking more or less for like the DIY methods of water curing. Like here, it's kind of like three, but then four, I'm just kind of like, eh, I got a little confused, but it's all good. You know, still all great information here. Um, you know, I'm looking I'm, for me personally, I'm, I'm using this burlap. It's just easy, accessible. I can kind of recreate that with home things. You know what I'm saying? Like we got towels, you know, you got blankets, you got sheets. Some people use plastic. You could use like a tarp type of method, which that really wouldn't be the burlap type of deal. But I really, you know, I'm a real big fan of this, this style because it's like if we need to keep it wet, you know, and and as you soak the towels, the sheets, or the burlap, it like just stays moist on top. So from all the research I'm doing, you know, especially when it comes to this water curing, the first seven days are going to be very important. And this is after it, it sets, you know, after it starts to set. And, you know, the dry pour is going to be setting soon as it, I mean, it's going to be setting, you know, for a while. But as soon as we get that, that top layer, you know, hard and it's able to not like get sunken in, this is the, you know, I believe for my dry pouring, you know, situations, this is where the curing starts for me, you know. And uh, I mean, the ponding, it could definitely be done, you know, with a little bit of ingenuity. They say like they use clay or mortar to kind of build these things around there. But these are, you know, these are going to be along with that moist curing style of um, of water curing. There's other curings. There's like polyurethane type of curing, um, you know, a bunch of other ones. So this duration, they're really saying they're hitting like that seven day point is, is looking solid. So the 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 concrete's going to continue to cure. You know, they say it reaches its potential around like 30 days, depending on what it is. It all depends on what it's going to be. If it's a huge foundation, you know, for my research, it's going to take longer. You know, if it's a smaller slab, it's going to, you know, it'll, it'll cure quicker, you know, depending on the deal, you know, depending on what's going on. So, um, but for now it's like, you know, watering it for seven days is, is seems like that's the sweet spot, you know? So, you know, whether you prefer, you know, dry pour and that's kind of the avenue you like to go down, or maybe you're just a DIY dry pour or you're a DIY wet pour um individual that's what that's the route you prefer either way this curing process is going to be very uh very important in my eyes you know my eyes because it's going to you know it's going to gain it's going to help gain its strength along with whatever else you add fibers rebar mesh wire so yeah a little quick informative video right here you know i got more videos coming up soon i'll be back you know again thanks for watching hope this helps somebody peace